What is up guys, I'm Bruce Ojeevan, we are back with some more Naruto Online and today we're going to be doing the events today. We got some new characters and we got some cool breakthrough characters so I can't wait to get to that. So let's start off first with the Konoha Great Tree. We got the Konoha Great Tree, you get one free uh, draw every day and you can do these events here to get more. You can do survival trial, arena, and team instance, or you can buy the daily packs to get three more. And so you can get a lot to do at least like seven, I think, six or seven, and you can use them to level up the tree. Every time you use it, you get a f coin and you get something off this tree. And this tree has frags of different characters in it. So if you're like spending just to get the points of the tree, you get some extra frags of certain characters in here as you see it's like Susano Sasuke, Susano Tachi, Edo Tensei, Toby Rama. They're all up in this tree. So if you want to try to get a couple of frags, this ain't the main way to get frags, but if you're going for something that's in the redeems area and you get some extra frags, it's always nice. We have the world tree and this as everybody level up their tree, the world tree levels up and you get to claim these rewards over here. So it's a good thing if everybody else is leveling up their tree as well. You need to claim this. Then we have the store where you can claim these rewards in here. As you see, we have a new ninja right here. Gur Gurin, I think that's her name is. I remember this filler episode. This let's, let's find her. Let's read her abilities and see what she does. I'm thinking she has another she's a two star, but she only has four abilities. So I'm thinking it's either she has four abilities or she might get another one. Three stars like some ninjas do. You go to three stars, you get it, but you can't really look at it because you have to have the ninja to look and see if she gets something else. But let's read what she does. Her mystery, cause ninjutsu damage to up to three units. The selected unit will suffer from low flow and immobile. Nice, you can see there's a mobile. Attacks at a random lineup. Wait, attack a random line of opponents has a given chance of low flow. Basically, it's earth mains. Um, last standard attack that hits a line of people and knocks them up in the air and does low float basically I think is that move but just for crystals chase and cause low float and absorbs up to 20 chakra from your opponent can trigger two times per round basically or twice per round so you get up to like what 40 chakra so she chases low float she basically just chases low float she doesn't chase she just she's like an ender you do a whole combo and your combo always ends like on a low float. You put her there and she'll chase low float. She doesn't have a like a low float to low floor or low float to knock down or nothing like that. She's an emitter like Obito, like Kid Obito. He always chases high float, but he doesn't create high float, you know? So that's basically what this does. But so you can end your combo with her two times and you can get chakra. Then she has a, also has a 30 hit combo chase that hits four enemies. This attack can't miss so they can't dodge it it's gonna hit four enemies so that's pretty cool we got another character with a 30 hit combo chase and we got an easy chase for her low float to low flow long as you do low float in the combo she's good to put in the team pretty cool what i see so far is already pretty good there's a lot of low flow stuff she does she mobiles she has a 30 hit combo chase and i don't know if she gets another passive or gets a passive she looks pretty cool to me you only need two stars and it seems like she's pretty cheap in the Konoha shop. She's only nine. She's the cheapest or second cheapest thing in here next to the keys. I don't know if I'll I'll get her yet. Maybe some other day because I'm I probably just going to focus on clothing like I'm still is. I keep getting like frags of clothing. Maybe on my other account I might try to get some frags of her and get her maybe a two star just to have her for the collection. Never know. But I'm mainly going to get exquisite silk and on my second account, I might go for frag to her or I might just go for keys, get more keys because you can get keys here and then the keys in the, the grocery store and you can get a whole bunch of keys with the sun and moon shop. So it's a good way to use your keys or get a lot of keys. Then we have the great Kona tree. If you spend a thousand up to a thousand like in here, you can get a purification breakthrough pill and you can get a treasure tool ultimate essence up in here and you can claim these they only pressed it once so I got one point you need a thousand points to get this it's a lot 
Next, let's go to the events, the hot topics. We have the Wishing Lantern. As you help out other people, you can make their lantern go higher as yours, and as people help you, your lantern goes up higher. And if you reach 5,000 meters, I guess it is, let's just say 5,000 feet in the air, you get 20 coupons and a charm material pack. So that's pretty good if, if you can get up here. If you get this with another event, you can have a lot of coupons this week. This is this is the week that's always my favorite week because you know me, I love coupons. You can get a lot of coupons this week. So all you have to do is level up the your balloon or get it higher by helping people and let them help you. I did not know <laughs> you could click on this until I hovered over this. <laughs> for some reason, I never noticed it every for every event that you could just click on these other balloons. I thought you only could click on the middle balloon, but you could click on these two times a day so each balloon in here you could click on two times a day yours you can set out people for to help you as you see I already did these ones so you can basically oh I didn't do this one do that one two times and do that one two times see same limit support twice daily see so you can get a lot of height by clicking all these balloons as you see I just I'm at like 200 or 2000 already so <laughs> make sure you click these balloons because I did not know you could click these balloons for some reason. I never actually checked and get that 20 coupons every day. Then we have the Treasure of the Sage, one of my favorite events because it makes stuff a lot cheaper in here. Basically, you do your daily, I think your plot in elite instances, you get keys, you get up to five keys free and you can um, press the start button and it'll re-roll different stuff to buy with different percentages off and you can get some pretty good ninja in here pretty good power items if you want to get the power items for cheap you are, if you want to get this giant katsuyu breakthrough stone I still need to get that I think I got like three or four of them already you probably just need to just finish it off I think you need six as you see he has Sage Naruto, Sage Jiraiya, Killer B, Ten Ten. if you don't have Ten Ten, I need to get I always say I need to get a three star Aruka but they have Aruka up in here Mask Man is up in here, Kushina and Jonin Minato with some clothing. They have the Ambu clothing and then they have the packs that have three different clothings in it. So there's a lot of good stuff in here if you want to try to get a cheaper price on these. We have the Platinum Recharge. You can put however many ingots it says here to claim these rewards and at the three days you can claim these rewards as well. Let's see what they have in here. They have Edo Tensei Deidora, they have Minato, the fourth Hokage, so the Hokage Minato and oh yeah that's it you have two ninjas I thought it was something else at the bottom but that was just <laughs> saying 10 fragments this one you can get 30 fragments of those two ninjas as well this pack has Guy, Gate of Joy and <laughs> that was hard to say for some reason Kashi Ambu and Killer B up in these packs so some pretty good ninjas up in there if you want to spend your ingots if you have, don't got them already then we have the cave exploration rebate now you want to save your keys to get to a thousand around a thousand I think it's a to get this you need a thousand thousand fifty I think thousand fifty around there and you can get this um, orange essence it's really hard for some free-to-play players to get this orange essence unless you free draw it out the thing or if you get lucky and actually pick the right card in the mystery cave to get these gold essence right here so if with the cave keys, you can get a lot of cave keys out of the Konoha tree and the grocery store. You can get a lot of keys as well. You can just buy straight out buy them with your sun and your moon coins and just get a lot of keys. Get to a thousand fifty, and you can claim this. You need to draw twenty times to claim this, and you get this. I don't recommend going for this. To me, this is a waste. You just wait just wait for it if you have like close to 2,000 then yeah maybe but I'll say wait till this event just come up again and spend another thousand and claim this again and just keep getting this every time you know it can come up and claim your rewards so that's what you should do with the cave keys if you have a lot of cave keys I always save up to a thousand bam this I used to just save up to 200 because it was harder to get cave keys but since it's a lot easier now you can save up to a thousand it can, you could probably pretty get this pretty easily 
Here we have the summoning rebate. I might do this this week. The summoning rebate. I have a lot of, you know, things saved over. Some a lot of summoning scrolls. So I might just pull in here and try to try to get the King of Hell and <laughs> curing. I probably not on my main account. My main account. I'm like so close to just buying them out of the shop. I know some people. Said I should have just waited and just pulled them, but it was taking too long. I want my King of Hell now, and <laughs> I want my Kirin, so that's what I'm going to spend my coins on. And I'm going to see if I can try to pull it in my second account. Look for a video to, on that, but basically you just spend up to 100 summoning scrolls, and you can claim all these rewards, and you get at least around, I think 30? 30, 35, I think, around that area of see so many scrolls back that you can spend in there it's a limited time you have to spend it within those seven days or you lose it and you get all the extra other stuff that comes with then you have the time limited shop every time you log in you get one point you do elite instances the plot instances you can get some points spend 10 ingots you might get one point this event hasn't really had you know awesome characters in this slot like it used to it just has this blue essence and I don't really care that much about the blue essence. Well, I do, but I don't really want the blue essence right now. But this guy Tortoise, I think I'm gonna start going for guys Tortoise, Tortoise, because him, I think him and the crab is usually up in here. So I'm gonna try to start saving up or using my stamina potion because I got like 400 something potions I could just use and try to get me. A guy's tortoise. So every time this event comes up, I'm just gonna go for guy's tortoise so I can finally get him and get him out the way. Then maybe I'll start focusing on getting these blue essences every time this event comes up and have a whole bunch of blue essences. But I want this tor tortoise, so I'm gonna focus on this. But basically, you just use your stamina potions and just do keep doing pl plot instances and elite instances over and over, and you get points so you can claim these rewards. I'm about to go for guy's tortoise. Then we have my favorite event right here, the Mount Miyoboku Trial. Here you just claim your reward every time you log in every day. You claim, and as you can see here, let me click on it. Boom! We have books. We have Lee books. <laughs> Finally, Lee's breakthrough is here. So we're gonna go check that out. But we have one here for our primary lotus, and we have one for life or life and death. I'm guessing this is the one that comes back to life when he dies. We have two books for that and it's the second stage so let's go look what they did to Lee with his breakthroughs man and I've been waiting for this but first before we get to Lee we also have he because <laughs> I saw he in here he was in this breakthrough for a long time but he didn't have anything in here but now he does let's look at his first for his second stage of his chase he'll chase high float call it repost and it'll tag the opponent and this and then his last one Chase and attack high flow and cause repos and tags and can't trigger two times per round. So he can basically he has a double chase now. So if you just want him for a double chase, that's good. They didn't change the thing I wanted them to change was this his his mystery. Hopefully that he his breakthroughs comes up and he gets another one that he can chase his mystery. But the second thing they changed here is the lower your life, the higher will your attack and resistance be lower life the more damage he does and tankier he gets to me they didn't change what I really wanted them to change they needed to change this right here but they didn't do it so <laughs> kind of a little upset at that I'm still gonna let me see do I have enough I probably have enough might as well just do that now let me just make the heat on a little bit better the double chase will help heat on but it's the mystery that I want them to change Let's get both of those books there. Max that out. Let's get this book. Boom. Hedon's done. <laughs> I finished Hedon, guys. <laughs> that was pretty hard. They need to give him another breakthrough and fix this. This is what they need. To, this either needs a prompt or they need to make it a lot better <laughs> that you just one-shot people if you do get it off. I give him an 80% buff like they did with his mystery. They need to do something like that with his. Alright, let's get to the guy we came for. Rock Lee. So let's look at all his stuff that has changed. We're going to start with his mystery. It's, it's so long that it's all, all the way off the screen. Let's see what the second part is. 
during this round can launch three standard attacks simultaneously will increase your critical hit rate by 15 percent last for one round so basically in a, when you use this you can attack three times or right, launch you can launch three standard attacks yeah three i'm not i'm thinking that he doesn't get a regular standard attack and then he gets three more but i'm thinking it's just three standard attacks all together what they're saying this round so three standard attack is already good it's close to how many eight gates lee does the, the the younger lee that has eight gates that one he can attack four times and but if you get it to if you max this one out it says during this turn you can launch four standard attacks will increases your critical hit rate by 15 percent last for one round so basically you can attack as many as times as the eight gates lee now because if you get if that eight gates leave you gave him with the earth main extra stand attack or any other character give him an extra stand attack he attacks four times now this one he can do that himself he can make his own self attack four times so that's pretty awesome can do might do a lot of damage with his standard attacks now so I, I always wanted to use this lee he just didn't do as much damage as the other lee so it was always worth using the other lee now and in my lee teams but i might can use this lee now so let's see what else they change his standard attack all right, let's see what they change to it now. Attack an opponent in the front. Attack an opponent in the front row has a given chance of causing five hit. combo and high float, and immediately reduces the mystery cooldown time by one. Oh, so the more he attacks and he gets his full combo off, like it does the whole thing. It's basically like Minotos. When Minotos does his combo, standard attack, it brings his his mystery down by one. Then this one. He has four attack. You might can just reduce it all the way down and get it right back. I think it's a three round cooldown. You have three round cooldown, so you can just get your mystery right back if you get the full crit. <clears throat> I remember I was saying in my 5.0 Earth main that the the Earth main's last passive I used to use with Lee since they took it took it away and now it gives immunity. Now it used to give combo rate and more attack. And I used to use it with Lee a lot because you won't lead the combo and you wanted him to have more attack. Since that's gone, I can't use it with Lee anymore because this would have worked perfect because he would have comboed more. That means his mystery would have went down and he would have gained more damage in this attack. So that makes me more upset that, that that's gone and they should have just changed the other thing on Earth Main. But this is a pretty good buff as well. Let's see what Hidden Lotus does. Chase high float and cause knockdown ignites with damage reduced by 30% can be triggered two times per round so basically he does high float to knock down and ignites but 30% less damage but he can do it two times that's pretty cool he's, he's a double chase and now it says cause high float to knock down ignites with the damage reduces by 40 what reduced by 40% and can trigger three times around so they're making it does less damage but you can do it you can chase three times, or it will chase three times. So it's basically like Ambu Kakashi can three, chase three times, except his damage doesn't go down. I don't think. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> he has three, three chases, or chase. His thing can chase three times. I can't wait to try this Lee out. I'm about to have some fun with this Lee. All right, let's see his life or death. This is one of the books you get free, and the primary Lotus. I think you get a free book as well. The second part. Let's see. This unit will. Not be defeated upon receiving damage which would defeat it. Instead, this unit will immediately recover 20% of his life. The skill can be only triggered once per battle. So this is basically the Hinata passive of Great Ninja War Hinata. When she when he dies, bam, he gets some health back and he can keep fighting. So it's basically that. So he gets a 20% life back. And then it looks like this one avoids deaths. Wait, avoids death wins surviving critical damage immediately recovers 30 percent life can be triggered once each battle man if that would have said twice each battle oh, 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 oh. op op <laughs> it would have been super amazing to come back two times um a fight but he get a 30 percent life i think i would have did that I, if i was the developer or person doing the 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 breakthroughs i would have made him come back two times but he would only get 20 percent life instead of 30 percent so that would be that's what I would have did, but yes, yeah, so he comes back with 30% life um, at, if he dies. So that's pretty cool. Now let's check his last thing: increases this attack and combo rate 
by 0 0.5 for every one life lost. So the less life he has, the more chances he's gonna start. He's gonna combo with his standard attacks or whatever. Yeah, he would basically with his standard attacks. He doesn't have a mystery to combo, but with his standard attacks, he's gonna combo more often. Means he gets his mystery up, so he can keep attacking over and over and over and doing a lot of damage. Each time this unit loses one percent life, increases his attack and combo rate by one point two percent. So this is even higher. So he can, he can combo and get more attack. The more less lights he has, so it's a higher chance of it actually happening if you get the, the final part of it. Now this Lee seems pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna start leveling him up, but I got like 300 um, things. So I think I'm gonna do his mystery first, and a standard attack, then his primary lotus, then this, and then. It's life recovery. I probably life recovery would be the one I do last. So let's see how much it takes for. Her. Um, make sure I'm on the right one. How much is for this one? Only 50 for that one. So let's get that. So right now he attacks three times now. So let's claim that book. Probably a hundred now. Um, how much is it now? Oh, it's still 50. I claim that. Only 50? Really? That's not a, that's not a lot. I'm, I'm happy about that because Jiraiya is like 100, 150 just to level up his stuff. It's, I'm still leveling up everything. I still ain't finished with Jiraiya. And you know, to me, Jiraiya is already super strong. I've been using him. He's like part of my main team now. I bet people are like, oh, you use a Jiraiya. <laughs> yeah, you ain't seen. I ain't made a video on him yet, and that's coming soon. You're going to see why, why he's in my main team. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's level this up. It's standard attack, so I can keep getting that mystery over it. That's 50 as well. Bam. I should get a free book, it said. So, how much is it? Is this 52? 20? What the heck is going on? They are, they are crazy. They're making them so cheap to get. All right, let's claim that. Is it... I'm going to wait till I get the other book on that one, so I'm going to calm down and get that one. And now let's get this one, because I want a combo rate up. This is 20 as well. Man, I'm finishing out Lee this week. I'm finishing him out. I'm about to go claim a little couple more extra frags, and I'm finishing him out. I'm glad I started to get his his frags before the shops, you know, went away for the Sun and Moon shop. Before those came, I kept getting a lot of his frags, because I knew he was going to get a breakthrough, so I'm glad I did that. And didn't hesitate to not get his frags because if I would have like nah I get it later, I probably wouldn't be able to do this right now. And I think I get a book of him as well, so I'm gonna be careful on these two right now. I'm gonna wait till I get those books and then I'm gonna use the rest of my frags to just max him out, and I can use this Lee. So uh, let's see how many frags I still have left. Still have a hundred frags, and they're just doing like twenties and fifties. Not one of them cost a hundred frags, so it's easy to get this Lee if you really wanted to. Like Jiraiya, I think it costs like a hundred. Let's see how much this one costs. This one's fifty, so that one's pretty cheap. And this one's eighty. Look, that one's eighty. So, and this one's like what, eighty as well? Or is it the same one? This one's eighty. See how expensive Jiraiya is compared to Lee was. So, if you have your some frags, get those Lee frags and just put them in these books and make Lee a lot better. So, I can't wait to start using him and see if I can come up with a team with that. Lee. Then we have an amount of vocal trial, my other favorite part of it. You hit these little pucks, bam, if you mess up like this, just go to the other side, hit it right back and you can never lose in this event. And you can always claim your 20 coupons at the end. You can do this three times a day so you get up to 60 coupons. And with the balloon event, that seems like it always comes when this event is here now, you can get 80 coupons every day for this whole week. So you can get a lot of coupons. It's I think it's around like 700 something coupons you can get at the end of the week. So that's a lot of coupons. You you don't want to miss any of these coupons a day. And I'm going to try to get them all like always. And I might be buying clothing this week. I might just buy it out of the regular shop instead of trying to get it like on a discount. Unless a discount comes up and it's like a lot cheaper than 70 coupon, 75 coupons each frag. It's like 60 something then maybe I'll just get the clothing out of there I'm not gonna buy the clothing out of the tree 
because it's going to be a lot more expensive than the ones that's in the, the little just regular old shop right now. God damn it, why is it not hitting the dang thing? There you go. I'm going to just buy one of those clothes. Probably going to be the Fukumaro one. Probably just buy that this week. Plus, I'm getting a lot of coupons. Now, this, you can spend... I suggest spend 100 coupons a day to claim anything in here because if you get lucky and get this for just 100 coupons, <laughs> they was worth or some frags of Chishui or even Ambu Itachi if you're just getting closer to a higher star level or you even don't have them. But I suggest doing 100 coupons a day to get something in here. Then we have another awesome event. To me, this is the best, the best week when the, all these events be in the same week because you can get a lot of stuff in here. This... All you have to do is do these little missions over here. It tells you plot is elite instances. You can get up to 20 a day if you get all the stuff. Except the ones that say draw 10, don't do this, or recharge. If you already recharge it, then yeah, claim this. But draw on 10, don't do that. Do all the other stuff you can do for free and get those easily. And you get up to 20, and then you can use the 10 spin two times to claim what's ever in here. As you see, Kid Kakashi is back. So I'm happy they brought Kid Kakashi back. I can finally get him and... They even put Joni Minato because that's the reason they bring him back is for you can get Joni Minato's bond if you don't have Joni Minato yet too. So I'm going to get for him. I'm, I think I got like 18 frags of him already. So even if I had to spend a couple of coupons, I'm going to finish him off and get me a two star Hit Kakashi just so I can have Joni Minato's bond mystery. I know somebody in the comment section asked me if I'm getting Joni Minato's uh, bond. I am now. I told him I don't have Kid Kakashi, but since he's here today. I'm getting that Bond Mystery. I'm going to get his Bond Mystery and I'm going to do Ambu Otachi's Bond Mystery because I do have Ambu Otachi and Shishui. You need both of those characters to do that Bond as well. So, if you need Kid, Kid Kakashi, this is the time to get him right now. Even if you had to spend a couple coupons, just get him just to get him out the way so you know you have him. You also need Kid Obito as well to do Tony Minato's Bond Mystery if you don't have Kid Obito. Also, they have Hashirama frags up in here. You can get them to like four stars so you can start working on his breakthroughs that he has. If you can buy his books in the one shop when it comes up, that you can buy it for like 5,000 coupons or egots. You can just buy his books and make him a lot better as well. You also have oils, purification, or not purification, medium level refinements, and seal scrolls. I want some of these medium level refinements. I'm trying to get to 500 so I can get me a purification breakthrough pill. And monthly, blah, 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 all this other stuff I don't care about. So that's going to be it for this event. I know it was a pretty long video. It's like 30 minutes I've been recording. It's probably going to be a little bit shorter because I'm going to have to cut a lot of stuff out. Can't wait to try this Lee. It looks like I already basically completed them. I just had to claim those books at the end of the week and then I can use this Lee and test them out for you guys. Before we go, let's try to get to 5,000 subscribers. That's our goal. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. If you did not hit that like button, anyway, I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I said Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a day.